Hey, what's up guys? It's Samtech here. Okay, here are the 10 settings that you should change in your Android device right now. When you receive notifications, especially with sensitive information, that information will be publicly visible in your lock screen even if you have a protected one. For that, just go to your phone settings and under that find the lock screen or the notification settings and the names of those menus can differ between different devices and under that find the lock screen notifications and hide all the content that appears on your lock screen. And now when you receive a notification, instead of showing all the sensitive information, it will be hidden from the intruders. Okay, there may be situations where you need to launch your camera app immediately and take a photo. So instead of unlocking your phone and launching the camera app, you can just tweak your phone settings to launch the camera app immediately. For that, just find the power key settings in your phone and this may be available under the name of gestures, especially when it comes to devices running stock Android. There, find the settings to enable double press power key to launch camera. So just enable it and now you can just double press the power key to launch camera even without unlocking your phone and take photos. You might find it difficult to use the Google Chrome Browser's UI especially when it comes to switching between tabs and entering URLs in the address bar. So in order to deal with that we can create a new toolbar at the bottom of the browser so that it will be easy for us to navigate. For that just go to the Chrome Flags URL which is Chrome followed by a colon followed by two forward slashes and flags. So here you can find lots of tweaks to change in your Chrome browser. Here just search for the Chrome Duet menu and just enable it and restart your browser. So now you can find a new toolbar in the bottom to find all your menus, switching between tabs, searching something, entering URLs or switching to your home screen. If you are using a low-end smartphone with poor performance, you can improve its performance by changing the animation duration scale for which you will need to enable developer options. So in order to enable developer options, just go to your phone settings and under the about device section, tap the build number 7 times and it will be enabled. Now in the developer options menu, find the windows animation scale, the transition animation scale and the animated duration scale and set all those values to 0.5. Now you will feel faster animations across your device resulting in a better performance. If you install new apps from the Play Store, shortcut icons for all those apps will be appearing here and there in your home screen which might be kind of annoying to the user. So in order to avoid that, just long press on an empty area in your home screen and find the home screen settings. Under that you can find a menu called add new apps to the home screen. Just disable it and now your home screen will be clutter free so that even if you install new apps, the shortcut icons won't appear without your permission. If you are using a limited data plan, you can enable the native data saver in your phone settings. But that might cause some restrictions in your phone. Say for example, if the data saver in your native settings is enabled, you can't enable mobile hotspot. So in order to deal with that, you can enable data saver specifically in your browser. And in the Chrome browser, you can just tap the triple dot button and go to the settings. Under the settings, you can find the light mode. Just turn it on and the Google Chrome browser will automatically compress all the web pages before delivering it to you so that you can save your data without enabling the native data saver in your phone settings. Okay, if you're at home or inside your car and you don't want to unlock your device every time you take it in your hand, you can keep your device stay unlocked by using the Google Smart Lock feature. For that, just go to the lock screen settings in your phone and under that you can find the Smart Lock feature where you can find the trusted devices menu. So if you have any other trusted device connected in Bluetooth and when those devices are nearby, your device will stay unlocked. If you are using the auto brightness feature in your smartphone, please do disable it immediately because it will consume your phone's battery a lot. Say for example, you are switching between a light and a dark environment, the ambient light sensor in your smartphone will be working continuously to adapt with the environment so that it will be consuming your battery a lot. So if you have enabled it, please disable it. Okay, here is a rarely known feature called Instant Apps. By using it, you can use many applications on your smartphone without installing them. In order to enable Instant Apps on your smartphone, just launch the Play Store and open the hamburger menu and go to the settings where you can find the Instant Apps option. Just enable it and sign up for it and now when you open a supported website on your Chrome browser, it will automatically open the Instant App on your smartphone. 
Most of us often sideload apps from third-party sources which are unreliable and may even contain malware and viruses in it. But don't worry, the Google Play Protect is here to save us. Just open the Google Play Store and tap the hamburger menu and under that open the Play Protect and under that open the Play Protect settings and there just click improve harmful app detection so that it will also search for third-party apps apart from the apps that are installed from the Play Store for malware and if there is any risk it will alert us. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm Deepak and this is Excel Tech. I'll catch you guys in the next one.